Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So Kabam did something different this last arena. Uh, I can't recall them ever doing this, but because of all the technical issues, the game has been down quite often, uh, they decided to delay the Sasquatch arena. When the Sasquatch arena came, it came uh, a little bit late, but round two, of the Sasquatch Arena ran with the next featured. So we actually had nine arenas running at the same time over the weekend. And some people were wondering, as much of an arena grinder as I am, would I try to get all the milestones in all the arenas? You can see the results up there. Uh, I got all the milestones, not only that, but as you will see, I put up enough in the five star featured that I should get the 2000 five star shards. We're gonna find that out uh, a little bit after this, okay? But you can see I put up 18 million in both the five star featured arenas. This was a grind. You can see the time left on the arenas. I could have actually run another two rounds or so of my five stars but I decided not to. Uh, no reason, no point to it. All right, now, this part here, uh, I wanted to let you guys see what it looks like for me to uh, claim my rewards. And just in case you guys wanted to calculate how many units, uh, you can do that here. Some of the units that you're gonna see me uh, claim here uh, didn't come from the arenas, but you should be able to uh, decipher that uh, if you're trying to go through and figure out how many units I got from doing all those arenas. I haven't calculated it. I don't know. Now, you can see the uh, amount of units that I started out with, and then you can see how many units I ended up with. Quite a nice chunk of units. It's just that I don't know how many came from, you know, just the arenas. So I got the milestones in all the arenas except for the two-star arena. Two-star arena, I put up 30,000 points. I could have gotten all the milestones in that two-star arena, but I decided not to. Uh, that arena just is boring to me. I don't know. Uh, I never put up all the milestones in that arena. All right, but uh, this is typical of what it looks like when I claim my rewards because I'll often claim them after an arena grind on Sunday. So I will accumulate, you know, about a week sometimes. Uh, but I try to claim them after every arena and before the next arena starts. But sometimes I forget. Uh, I actually saw a bug. Uh, where I had like 130 rewards to claim and my solo event did not show up. Not until I claimed my rewards and then it showed up. It was already there. I just couldn't see it because it when it showed up, it still had um, a little bit of time left. So it was clearly active, just not showing. Uh, but it didn't do that this time. And I had more than 130. I think this time I had like 160 something uh, to claim. Uh, now, one of the reasons that you might not want to claim them right away is just to uh, extend the time that you're going to have them. Uh, now, I've gotten bitten by this and they've expired on me uh, before I claimed uh, some of the items that I got. Uh, but this time uh, we're good. I'm being careful not to claim the update ones. I'm going to do that later. Okay, let's go to the leaderboards now. And I apologize in advance for the length of the video, uh, but we're gonna try to go through each of the leaderboards, but I'm gonna have to go pretty quickly because we've got nine of them to go through. Well, eight of them to go through. All right, so let's start with the three-star Sasquatch uh, arena here. And I am just going to uh, try my best to go pretty quickly while at the same time, uh, trying to notice the names, see who picked up this uh, three-star. 
So if I miss you, I'm sorry. Uh, definitely leave a comment and uh, let me know. But I don't want this video to be, you know, a 20 minute video. So I'm trying to uh, go through as fast as I possibly can. Uh, but yeah, this this has been something that I've not experienced since I've been playing this game about four years where they ran two full arenas. I've seen them when they've messed up before. They've run uh, the five-star featured, for example, uh, together, you know, had double five-star featured uh, arenas, but they ran the full arena. And I took full advantage, as you saw, of that uh, double arena. Got double the amount of units that I normally do. And considering that I just bought that uh, Nexus, six-star Nexus for 6,000, if you haven't seen that opening, definitely uh, check it out. But I wanted more units. All right, so this is the four-star Sasquatch. Um, I got him round one so i was free to do just the milestones here uh, in this arena the top 800 get the champion so let's see you know i'm i'm curious to know what the cutoffs were uh with this many arenas maybe some folks that wanted to get the four star uh but they also wanted to get you know everything else got too greedy and maybe ended up with not too many of them. Dr. Chaotic. Congratulations, my friend. All right. So we got to see one. And like I said, if I missed you, I'm sorry. Uh, but I am trying to go uh, a little bit faster than normal. Simply because we have so many arenas. Uh, but feel free to leave a comment if you picked up this champion. Uh, and what you put up and your ranking. Uh, even if you miss the champion, uh, definitely leave that as well as it, you know, it's very interesting to note um, what scores got him and what didn't before we um, get the official cutoff information. All right. See anybody there. And we will leave the uh, five star featured arenas for last. So we'll skip that one. We'll go over here. Uh, now, this is a nihilist. This was the uh, basic uh, arena. And I was actually afraid that I would get him by accident. Because I suspect he went pretty low. As a four-star, pretty, pretty low. Um, he's an annoying defender. And if you're at a lower tier, then he's definitely worth picking up. But I have a feeling that a lot of people... Uh, did not go for him, and his cutoff was low, possibly under 2 million. So if you got the champion, leave a comment. Let us know what score you put up for this guy. Um, but this is a uh, percentage-based leaderboard here. And I forget the uh, number of people, but it's a lot. It's a lot of people that will uh, pick up this uh, champion. Okay, trying to go pretty quick here, but can only go so fast and it'll start being a blur as I go through and uh, I might not recognize a name, may not even see the name. Uh, Mr. Joker, I think I know you. Congratulations, just in case. All right, so that's that arena. Uh, let's go to the three-star X-23, another one that I figure uh, will go pretty low. And she's not a new champion. And I'm wondering if anyone that, uh, that I know that comes over to my stream really want a three-star X-23. Uh, this was another one that I was afraid uh, I would pick up by accident. Asmodeus? Congratulations. Okay, let's keep going. Very curious. You know, how many people don't have her? Because I'm, I'm assuming uh, the majority of people already have her uh, as a three-star. 
and she's pretty good. Uh, I remember a time where uh, there was a hot debate between her and Wolverine. Wolverine had the better regen. X-23 had the better damage. There were quite a few people that preferred X-23 in um, in uh, Alliance Quest. At the time, I had a Wolverine, but I didn't have an X-23. And I like my Wolverine. All right, here we go with Domino again. A champ that she's good, but probably not too many people uh, really wanted to put up a score for her, especially with all these arenas going on. So don't know. Um, I already have her. Uh, I always go for the four stars when they are the uh, featured, like Sasquatch. So when he comes around as a uh, basic champion, I don't need to go for him then. Just the way that I like to do it. And it gets me more battle chips by doing that. Because I tend to grind more to get that champion when they're featured, of course. Okay. Don't know if I've already missed somebody, but apologies if I did. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Nope. I saw Yusuf uh, there. Uh, and I don't know if that's uh, the Yusuf that comes by my stream, but congratulations, my friend, if that is you. Um, but I think the last time uh, there was another Yusuf, and it wasn't him. And he mentioned that he doesn't really put up high scores so um but he may have gone for that domino let me know if that was you uh yusuf all right we're gonna skip that one we've got this five star all right so the last of the four stars and then we'll switch over to the five star um leaderboard okay Let's see if we see anyone that we recognize um and i see names that of course like me they're often in the arena just grabbing these uh, units, grabbing the champions if they don't have them. There are some people that are really addicted to arena. And that's funny hearing me say that, right? Because I grind arena so much. But what I mean is they will be on these leaderboards uh, no matter what the champion is. They'll have the champion, but they grind out this arena i'll go for milestones as you saw there um killers congratulations uh, i will definitely grind out the milestones but that's about it and it doesn't take me too much now this arena was a grind this was almost like a uh champion a featured uh champion grind not quite as bad but almost in order to get all of the uh, milestones in all of those arenas, I had to put up uh, some good scores all across the board, and I grinded my heart out. All right, now let's get to the five star, and we're going to save the Sasquatch uh, round two arena for last, and we'll take a look at X-23. Uh, I already have X-23. Uh, there's HQ Sean, uh-huh. Arafin! Congratulations, man. Uh, Karate Mike, congratulations. All right, so we already see some people that wanted that X-23. I don't blame them. She's still good. If I didn't have her, I would definitely have gone for her. And her round two arena is going to be starting uh, Monday, this coming Monday. And depending on what she went for, I would be very tempted to just awaken my five star. Um, I don't usually go for dupes, though, uh, so probably not going to go for her uh, in that arena. But um, her dupe is is useful. All right. Let's see. Already saw a few people that we recognized. Hold on. Is that somebody? Okay. No, no. Thought I recognized somebody there, but I think I've seen them in maybe one of the uh, chats that I belong to. All right. I'm very curious to see what she went for. All right, so 
the top 150 got the champion. So let us observe a moment of silence for those who came so close and yet were so far. A frozen night, but everyone's moving out. We all need time, but there's no way to slow it down. We're all dreamers, dreaming of the good life, but there's nothing that nice on the cards for us. All right. Apologies and uh, condolences for those who went for her, but you still have round two to go and uh, pick her up. Uh, if you missed her, let us know what score you put up. All right, so now finally, we've got the big boy arena, the Sasquatch arena. Um, this was uh, the last chance people had to pick up Sasquatch. So let us now see who went for this guy. And he went high, if I remember correctly, uh, Ribbon the Rock, congratulations on your Sasquatch. Uh, I did not want to go for him. Uh, he seems to be great for synergy with um, Sabretooth. And he seems to be decent in his own right, but he didn't really excite me. Hey, Rob, congratulations on this Sasquatch, man. Ben Riley, right below. Congratulations, fellas. Um, coat hanger. Congratulations. Oh yeah. People was going hard for him. Uh, let me know what score you put up, uh, to get him, man. Uh, round one, he was high. So I'm curious to see if he went lower. Cause I believe he went over 70 million. Don't quote me on that. Uh, cause I haven't seen the official, uh, I don't think I've seen the official cutoff. If I have, I've forgotten already. Um, but I believe he went over 70 million. But it was mainly not because he was such a great champion, but because of that synergy with Sabretooth. And there's videos if you are curious about that synergy, but it makes Sabretooth crazy. Um, he's a ramp up champion with this guy here, and he starts hitting really hard if you ramp him up. But I was not interested in doing that. So he didn't really excite me as a champion on his own. All right, so the top 150 get the champion. And now let us observe another moment of silence for those who came so close and yet were so far. A frozen night, but everyone's moving out. We all need time, but there's no way to slow it down. We're all dreamers, dreaming of the good life, but there's nothing that night. Wow, he must have gone low. Do you guys see that? I just went for the 2,000 shards and I got 187 ranking. I made the top 200 with 18 million. Wow. All right, apologies again for the length of the video. Take care, click like. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.